as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are returning to an old familiar area. We started our Breath of the Wild adventure, of course, in the Great Plateau, an area I just really haven't explored too much here in Tears of the Kingdom. I think we did one of the uh, pen uh, Lucky Gazette quests sort of in this area, but the entire Great, Great Plateau still has plenty left to explore. So I feel like it would be really cool to take a look at that and sort of see what's been going on there, especially since a lot of you have requested it. So we're gonna go to the Kayo Kugan Shrine and see what's happening at the Great Plateau. So it looks like we're actually starting underground, which is fine with me, because I think we'll probably just ascend upwards wherever I can find the spot to do so. I might have to run around a little bit to figure that out. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's been a while since we've been here, I guess technically years and years before since we've, you know, fully explored it because I only spent a little bit of time here earlier in the game. Uh-oh, I don't think I can be in the scoop, can I? Do I just, yeah, I just sink. Oh no, we'll have to find a way out and up somehow. But this is of course where we got started in Breath of the Wild. It's where we got our first shrines done. It's where we did a bunch of the tutorials to learn how to play the game. It was super, Useful for all that. Okay, looks like we're heading down here, I suppose. We've already been in this cave before. See, see you, Orblin. We don't need to find anything extra from that, but if I can use this to get up here, that'd be awesome. Okay, I'm not in the goop anymore. So let's explore around the Great Plateau. I'm sure there'll be some shrines and stuff waiting for us. And you know, that was sort of the big thing about this area is that when you first got here in the game, you really couldn't, um, jump off because you didn't get the glider straight away. You had to complete all the tutorial stuff. And that took me forever because I just didn't know what I was doing in the game. But now it should be a lot easier and I'm sure a lot of stuff has changed. I figure what I'll try to do is get back to where we sort of spawned into this world, the, the Cave of Awakening or whatever it was called, which I think was around here. I'm sort of doing it by memory. So we'll figure it out as we go along, but Wow, have things changed since the last time we have really first explored this area. And I'm sure it's been changed between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the King and the Great Upheaval. I'm sure it's done a number on this area as much as it has anywhere else. But I guess we'll see. I'm sure there'll be a couple of shrines and stuff to find here too. Whoa, what is that? Okay, it's just some mushrooms. There are some enemies around here too. Some Bokoblins to fight eventually. Oh, hey, what are you doing up here? Grilled bananas here. Step right up, come and chill. Hot bananas, fresh off the grill. Hold them in your hands and feel that heat. Take a big bite, what a treat. And the flavor like a dream, a little taste of heaven if you know what I mean. Stop right there and buy a pair. Growing up for me. Oh. Whoa, roasted bananas, oh they're expensive. Uh, Roasted mighty bananas, these mighty bananas have been roasted whole. I think I've done that before. Uh. All right then, I hope you come back soon. That's a lie fresh off the grill of deception. Uh, Beg the bananas forgiveness. Oh no. Uh, what would happen if we actually bought one? We'll just fight you, ready? Gotcha. Oh wait, you get back here. Is it just gonna be you? Oh no. Oh no, I broke my sword. Not good. Where are you gonna go? Right there. Oh, tool and finished you off. Awesome. See, now we can grow our own bananas. All right, I was not expecting to find them up here, but that was still pretty cool. And there is a nice place if I wanted to cook some food, I could do this soon, but I sort of want to continue on up this way. Wow, there's a Korok seed for sure. I'm sure there's gonna be an abundance of Korok seeds to find around here. Huh, what's up with that? Maybe if I get up here, I can uh, figure some stuff out. Oh yeah, I guess I need to pick this up and do something with it. Whoa, I'm a little confused, but did that do anything? Can I, I can't pick it up from here. I guess I could, whoa, maybe grab this and attach it to that log on the other side. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Here, hold on. Maybe with enough weight, we can sort of pull out this cork. Almost, almost. Bring it over here and then, oh, I heard it. <laughs> it popped out. There we go. So there's one Korok seed for us, boom. Bye. Ooh, it's starting to rain. So you know what? Why don't we change our gear? We got the uh, the froggy suits, right? I think so. Yeah, froggy hood, froggy sleeve, froggy leggings. We got all this, of course, from, uh, <laughs> look at the feet, that's so cute. Um, From completing the Lucky Clover stuff. Oh, I need to clear out my inventory a little bit. We'll do that. Uh, 
Wait. Delete. There we go. Do I have a picture of this bird? Uh, the game's not really helping me out with discovering if I am. Yep, wood pigeon, we do. All right, we're still sort of heading in the right direction, right? Sort of, kind of. I mean, the temple is over here. Because wasn't it up the temple a little bit and up this way? If I'm not mistaken, this is where we started our Breath of the Wild adventure. So if I could just get back up there, that's what I really want right now. Hmm. Yeah, I think that ledge, if I'm not mistaken, might be a little tricky to get up there, but we'll find a way. Can I climb without slipping? It looks like it. Probably want to get over to there, though. Yeah, we can just ascend through that, so that'd probably be way easier. But if not anything else, it's just sort of nostalgic to be back here, right? All right, and boom, made it up here. We can grab, grab a couple of these. Splash roots, don't need them when it's so wet around here, but eventually. Oh, so I do still slip when it comes to that. But I can still climb normally, so at least we have that going for us. All right, almost there, almost there, ready? Jump, got it, okay, we're fine. We're still not all the way up there though, oh my goodness. Uh. Whoa, wait. Oh, that's a boar. I thought it was a... Whoa, don't charge me. <laughs> Ouch. I thought that was a Goron for a second. I was like, what's a Goron doing up here? Okay, you're gonna run away. That's where we met um, the king, right? I'm pretty sure. So we sort of are on the right path. Let's head back this way. I really wanna find the cave. I wonder if there's anything cool in there. Oh yeah, it was right here. Whoa. Such a huge flashback. We'd run out this way, look out into the world, and be like, whoa, Breath of the Wild. Things sure have changed, huh? Well, let's head back in this direction. What is that light over there? Oh, it's one of the, the fairy things, gotcha. I wanna see what's going on in the cave over here, then. Hmm, we got a bunch. Whoa, here we go. Discovery, the Shrine of Resurrection in Hyrule Field. It looks the same, but a little different too. Whoa, hey, I need you. Yeah, we now have the goal, of course, to get every single bubble gem, which I guess was our goal all along the way, but even more now, because I don't think there's any other rewards left for us from Kilton. So definitely good to keep in mind. Uh, I guess I'll I'll try the blue Lysel sphere, and then maybe I could fuse it with something. Oh, I was already fused with something, Never mind. Uh, I definitely need to find piece of equipment that I can use just to bash stuff open that I don't currently use. I think we'll do the eightfold blade. Oh, you know what, why didn't I use the, the, the rock? I don't know, there we go, now I can. That'll make it easier. Get a couple of arrows out of this. Oh, it's making the noise like there's a shrine around here. So we'll have to look for that soon. We're getting a lot of extra arrows, definitely need those. Will there be anything for me here though? Doesn't seem like it. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. See, this is where we woke up all that time ago. Can't believe it's been, you know, six real life years. I don't know how long it's been in the actual game, but in real life, it's been six years. Whoa, wait a minute. Are the Sheikah here? Whoa, whoa, what's going on in here? Uh, <laughs> the noble swordsman scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. You stumbled into our secret storehouse for treasures from the depths. And now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Your life ends today. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, whoa, not good. Let's fight. Let me go ahead and use this Lysel spear then. Oh, beat you up as much as I can. And then, ooh, gotcha. I see, oh, you over there, that was a good shot. I think we got both of them. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. They tried to get us, but couldn't quite keep up. I'll go ahead and get that duplex, but that's a pretty nice one to have, actually. I will go ahead and drop this duplex bow, because this one has seemingly a lot more damage to it. 14 times two. Oh, I see how that works then. Okay, Um, sorta does, sorta doesn't. Do we have anything else that's like not really worth having? I guess not, we'll just keep it like that then. Uh, but yeah, let's go and talk to you over here, whoa. So what will this do? Authori uh, authorizer verified. 
So I guess they found this in the depths and brought it up here. Thank you for dropping away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there. I will therefore continue my work here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zonite was mined and processed there once. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone or schema, I don't remember, I think a schema for schematic. A schema stone you do not yet have. Let me rectify that. Whoa, schema stone. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as zonite vehicles. Auto build saves the schematic and build it on command. Very cool, so what is this one? The beam cycle? That sounds like fun. The new design has been registered with auto build. I hope that the schema stone I have provided is useful to you. I'm sure it will be. Do you have anything else for us? Um, shall I explain schema stones to you? Or would you like me to explain what happens when you use auto build? Okay, I know both of those things. Very well, take care. That's awesome. Now, what about this? Do I need to drop like an apple in front of this for a Korok seed? I don't think so. Um, all right, that was pretty neat. It's still saying that there's a shrine somewhere. Uh, I guess over there. It might be above ground though. We could always pop our head out somewhere and try to find out, but that was a really cool little diversion. So it looks like, you know, obviously the Sheikah, not the Sheikah, whatever these guys are called. Um, I've been keeping pretty busy around here. But, Let's get up here. Whoa, it's cold. That's right, it's all coming back to me. The layout of this area. But I figure, you know, we woke up there, but I wanna go to the Temple of Time, or whatever it was. I think it was the Temple of Time. Still raining out here, of course. But uh, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Maybe it is a big deal. Um, Not good. Hold on, hold on. Don't zap me. Don't zap me. Don't zap me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fire really quickly and see if we can't wait out this uh, storm. All right, the weather is much better, at least for now. So hopefully, yeah, we can head back out here and continue onward. What I wanna check out was where we met the old man first, which was right over there. Is there anything over here, though? I guess it's just more of the actual path down that way. Not really. Oh, this is so, like such a blast from the past in a way. We had the big temple here and everything. Wait, Zelda? Who am I? What is Zelda doing here? Huh. Excuse me, traveler. Do you know me by any chance? Who am I? Where am I? Am I some sort of villain? Or a force for good? I just can't remember. You're Princess Zelda. <gasps> Zelda, that's right, I'm Princess Zelda. Thank you, now I can remember. I didn't think you would fall for the same trick again. Clearly Zelda makes for good bait. <laughs> when we find the real Zelda, we'll, we'll send her straight to you. Oh no, <laughs> these guys are everywhere. They're just causing trouble, what problems for me? You got me all excited I found Zelda? Get out of here. <laughs> Luckily they're pretty easy to beat. You just sit there, swing at them twice and they're done. <laughs> All right, well, I do remember there being a Korok seed right over here. I guess there isn't any more? Oh, there might be on that rock. I'm ready to jump into this, but it doesn't seem to be like that anymore. Let's go ahead and get that rock. So I'm pretty sure, oh, look, there's a cave over there. Okay, first things first, boom. I found you. All right, that's nine. And then, sorry, we will head into this little cave under the Temple of Time. Is it a cave? No, not really, it's more of like an alcove, I guess you would call it. Okay, head back up here. And I definitely wanna head into the temple then. Whoa, whoa. All right, Link, come on, get it. Or not, it's not feeling like it. Ooh, lots of enemies around here though. All sorts of stuff. I guess we'll just sort of go into each building. I remember we would find treasure chests in some of these and they would just have like a normal bow, but that was like a huge find at the time. The small steps eventually turn into big leaps. It's like revisiting an old hometown I haven't been to in a long time or something. It's the old stomping ground, ow, that hurt. 
Old stomping ground, but I'm the one getting stomped right now. Let's deal with some of these guys. We'll use the silver Boko blade. There we go. Ow! Watch it, buddy. Okay. Oh, you got the big shield on. Let me back up a little bit. I'm actually getting my butt kicked right now. This is not good. I'm not showing good form for the big return to this area. Uh, that should be fine for now. We'll eat up some of this food too. And I guess we could do swim speed up. I don't know. I just, I'm just i just looking for some extra food. Uh, okay, you're done for. That's great. I might take your rock hammer if not anything else, but you know, to break your armor. There we go, much better. Now we can swing back over to this. And just finish off your health, maybe. Come on. Ooh, that knocked you over. This sword's a lot heavier than I expected it to be, but we can pick up your monster pieces. And right back over here. Oh, I can't pick that up. I guess that's it. Wait. Oh no, here they are. Got some Bokoblin guts. And I think I saw a couple of barrels over that way, so I might switch back over to this rock hammer. Just bust those open as we head closer to this temple. Got it. And got it. So is there a proper path up there that I sort of missed? I can't really tell from here. So we'll just head up that way. I wanna see if there's anything going on in the actual temple, because those are like the two big places, right? That like have something of interest. Then I figure we'll explore around a little bit trying to look for shrines and stuff. But right now, whoa. This is crazy, and there is a chest waiting for me here. Awesome. So I'll definitely grab this one. Uh, yep, let's open this up. A royal shield, that's huge, actually. All right, what well, can I drop for it? I mean, I actually don't have too much at the moment. Most of what I have is better than that, so I guess I'll leave it for now. Heading over here, though. How do I get into the main part of the temple? I guess I could just climb up. Just like that. I guess I'm supposed to go around the side a little bit for that. Is there anything cool on top? The Temple of Time Ruins. Whoa, and of course the giant goddess Hylia statue. Okay. Still looking around for treasure chests and hidden goodies, but whoa. This is so cool to finally be back here after all this time. And we can pray at the statue. I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Under the water of the Great Stone Gate. Uh, this one? Because this is definitely a big stone gate. It's almost like a big dam. And let me listen to it again, or read it again. <laughs> listen to myself read it. Under the water. So I'm assuming there's a cave. I'm trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. If I had to guess, I mean, it could be this one too. Okay. We'll have to look into that for sure. But is there anything else left to do around here before we figure that out? Um, Doesn't look like, we'll climb up on top too. Just to see if there's anything cool up there. All right. A little bit more, there you go. Cause yeah, there was that one place, what was it, King Roam that we would run into and he would sort of show us around? I oh, yeah, there's a chest up here. And I did hear the, the shrine thing make a little blink again. I mean, some of our first shrines were like right down there. Whoa, the depths. The depths could be our answer to finding out where this statue needs help or it's trapped. Uh, but let's open this up for sure. Because I think up here is where we got our glider and now we get nostalgic fabric. Tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. That's amazing. And there's another depths entrance over there. So there's a couple of them. That was the Eastern Abbey. I think it was right down there that we had one of our first shrines, right? Obviously the layout's a little bit different now than it was back then, but it would be cool if there were more shrines. Is there stuff above us too? I guess there has to be. Um, right now, let's fly down this way then. And I will look around this body of water, I think. 
I mean, there is that shrine. That was underground, though. Huh. But that is like a stone wall, like it mentioned. I'm not quite sure. Whoa, look at the, the little troop we got over here and the little croc seed thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just land on this. There we go. I gotta get over there fast. Toolin can help out with that, no problem. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Whoops. <laughs> Let me get back over there. Okay, attempt number two. I'll be a little bit more careful this time. We'll make sure we're right above it. And then, boom, bullseye. <laughs> All right. Another grog seed for us. Always great to have them. We need a ton more if we want to be able to get more upgrades, so. Yeah, glad that we've at least gotten a good return on those. I do see all these dudes over here. I might leave that for later, though. I want to head over here. It feels like I really need to re-explore this whole area, though, just because you never know where another cave might show up at this point. But I think the big thing I want to focus on is under the water by the Great Wall. I think that is this. So if we can find like an obvious cave around here, that'd be pretty cool. But it might be on the other side. Like what if it's way down there? So I'll definitely take a look around. But I mean, this is a good plot of water here. I'm not seeing too much in terms of like a cave or how to get under. I'll head over here. On the other side, I think this is where we first had a shrine, right? I think maybe where that rock is. Well, I need to reach my friend. Where's your friend at, buddy? If it's too far off, I'll save it for later. Ooh, that is really far. I'm just gonna make a marker on our map then so we know for later. Eventually I'll do these, but it's just not now. <laughs> Definitely not now. Okay, way over here then. Oh look, we got some extra little pieces here. So I guess we could make um, something to fly over there with them at some point, but for now. Ooh, it's getting dark again, starting to rain, but only for a few moments according to the weather thing on the bottom right. All right, I don't know if there's too much I can do with this, but I can maybe flop. There you go. Did I get anything for that? Couple of arrows, I'll take them. I'm not seeing much around here in terms of, you know, collectibles or just any kind of cave entrance. So I think what we'll do is we'll go down here. Maybe there's a way in under, or the depths right here. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let's try this out then. What's up with this? Discovery. Great Plateau North Cav Ca Chasm. We haven't been down there, at least not from this side. So it could be that. Oh, I'm falling. Not what I wanted, come on. Uh, okay, get over here. There's not anything more on this side though, right? Maybe I should just take a quick peek. Doesn't, wait. I was gonna say it doesn't seem like it, but Whoa, wait a minute, can we drain the water? No way. Where's Yunobo at? Uh, buddy, I need you. Right over here. Whoa, whoa, we're draining the water? That is so cool. What is this gonna lead to? Oh man. Whoa, there's some fish on the ground too. That was awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and grab some of this Hyrule Bass and then I guess head in. Hello. You who hear my voice, come to me in the Temple of Time Ruins, up the road on the plateau to the south. I was just there. Couldn't you have just hollered? I guess not. Um, I guess they were too busy drowning. So I, I'm going all the way back to the Temple of Time now, the place I just was. This is so crazy that the water drained. Having a heavy effect on our environment here. So cool. And as we're heading over, I do see, is there something up there? There might be, here, I'll try this. I don't think it'll rain on us too much. Oh, it's just some eggs. I thought that these were gonna be some kind of crocs you think. Never mind. but we're almost there, we're almost at the Temple of Time. So I can just jump up here, just like that. 
So I wonder if it's going to, you know, say anything like, hey, now that you started this little quest, like, what do we have to do? They're no longer trapped. I didn't think it was gonna be one of those things, because it looks like one of the statues that we see in the depths, but usually this is like a goddess Hylia thing. So it's just a little bit odd, to say the least. But I guess we're about to find out. Do I just talk to you one more time? What do you have to say now that we saved you? You who hear my voice, as a result of your draining the water of you draining the water from the gate, a part of me has been freed. You have earned my gratitude. I speak to you now from the depths below in the guise of this statue. A call from the depths. Whoa, side adventures. You who hear my voice. Whoa, wait, that's where all the shrines were before, right? I don't know. I direct you to our to the four chasms across this plateau. Oh yeah, that's where all the chasm entrances are. I see that now. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. Then deliver the stones to me, who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this and a reward will be yours. Whoa. So let's check, take a look at this here. A call from the depths. A statue at the castle gates on the Great Plateau guided you to the Temple of Time Ruins. There, a mysterious voice gave you instructions. But who is it? I told you to throw, it told you to throw four eyes into the chasms and carry them to the place beneath the temple where the voice is coming from. What does it mean by eyes though? I don't know but I guess we can definitely have the tract. We'll be focusing on this today for sure. Let's go to this one in the Eastern Abbey and see if we can't find one of these eyes. I'm really confused if it's like an actual eyeball or if it's some kind of metaphor, I suppose. Only one way to find out really, and that's to glide over there and see what's going on. I remember this great plateau area feeling so huge though. It's so crazy to be able to sort of make our way through fairly quickly now, because I just remember feeling like getting from one side to the other was like an all day experience. And are those just, I'm looking for any kind of opportunity for a Korok seed. What's going on with these stones? Oh, um, I don't think I can do much with these. Okay. Yeah, the Yiga clan. I always get that mixed up with the, the Sheikah. But uh, those have like the, the Yiga clan sign on them, and I think that just means they're not actually Quark Seed things. So yeah, right over here in this little maze, we have big pile of rocks here. They're not hiding anything, are they? I don't think so. So yeah, I'm looking around for an eye to drop into the, into the hole somehow? Well, we do have something to break over here, so if Noble wants to help me out with this. Whoa. That opens up. Whoa! That looks like an eye if I've ever seen one, so I pick this up. Ugh, got it. Discovery, this is the Great Plateau East Chasm. And I just drop that in. Do I follow after it? A call from the depths updated. A voice told you to throw four eyes into the chasms and then carry them to the place beneath the temple of time ruins, where the voice is coming from. You've thrown one eye into the chasm. Now, just because we threw it doesn't mean we're done. I think we need to, whoa, this is so deep. Uh, uh, oh, game's loading, I think. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh, this is spooky. I have one of the eyes. Where am I bringing it? I guess over there, if we were to mark it's over the temple of time, right? If I put a green marker here, yeah, that would sort of line up. I think it's that thing. So how are we getting over there? Good question. I think for now I'll grab all this Poe and I could also just pick it up and run with it. I don't know if that's the most efficient idea, but let's go by most used and I'll do a bright bloom seed. Oh, I should switch to the, this bow. Fire a couple over that way too, just so I can really see what's going on. 
Hmm. Getting up there might not be easy, but I think what I can do is just spawn in a vehicle that could help us before we get carried away with that. Whoa. We might be able to do that ourselves from all of this stuff. Yeah, for sure. So we can just attach a couple of fans to the back side of this. Make a nice little flying machine if we wanted to. Or I could just drive over there, but it looks like getting up there is the hard part. So right now, I will attach this. Not there, but uh, okay, maybe that would work. I don't know. I will attach this one here on the other side and then get the steering wheel on there. And that really should be the most of it, right? When it comes to getting around. We'll see soon enough. Well, that's not quite right there. And then I'll attach the eye to it and we'll see if we can fly. I might have to get this closer to an edge so we can actually start gliding. Put that there for now. We'll get the eye onto it. And I guess I can attach some wheels too. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be too heavy to start gliding at that point though. Get it right about there. And let's see what the deal is with some of the weapons. Oh yeah, we can get it to glide from over there. I see the rails for it. Um, We got a soldier's broadsword. That'd be really nice to have. I'm gonna drop this one then. Grab that. There's all sorts of gear to get around here. This one is gonna be the soldier's spear. Or traveler's spear. I'll drop the bouncy stick for it. And then lastly, over this way, it looks like another soldier's broadsword, which, or maybe even a soldier's claymore. Should we have a picture of that, right? We don't. Let's get a picture of the soldier's claymore then. Awesome. Of course, soldier's claymore. Sparkle. Uh, yeah, we don't have this one. That's a really cool pickup then. I think I will drop. I mean, this spear, it probably has good durability. Hmm. I'll drop the rock hammer. Boom. Soldier's Claymore Sparkle. An improved Claymore made light, light for, lightweight for easier handling. It consumes less stamina for charged attacks. Awesome, we'll have to use that stuff with some good weapons soon. But for right now, I'm fully focused on this part. Just like this, we wanna get this onto the railing. I might have to move the fans a little bit. So as you can see, they sort of Get in the way. Maybe if I put them on top. I never really know exactly how to. Ooh, actually, let's get it past this part where it's gonna get stuck. And I'll also grab that bomb flower. Both because I need more bomb flowers and also because I'm terrified it'll get nudged and explode somehow. Okay, can I ride this? Here we go. It's working. It's working. Okay, so we just wanna fly over to there, the temple. Oh, and we should probably get that light route after if we can. All right, I think this is the idea, but maybe it's not. Maybe I'm not supposed to get it up there, but just here? Oh, it's hard to say. Great abandoned central mine. All right, well, I don't know if I can actually get high enough up. And even if I did, ooh, can I make a smooth landing? Uh, um, no. All right, well, that's okay. <laughs> We're here now, which is still pretty good. Looks like there's a lot to explore around here, but I want to get the eye. And I might refer to the quest again. Over here. Throw four eyes into the chasms and then carry them to the place beneath the Temple of Time Ruins where the voice is coming from. Which is just about where we are. You can see it on the map, so. Let's go this way. Oh, hey, there's somebody here. Um, okay. I'll bring this over and then chat with you a little bit, see what we can learn. Hi, welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was pr processed. It is all but abandoned now. I do still have associates here who process ore and manage schema stones. You should speak to them. Where? I don't see them at the moment, but if I run into them, I'll say hello. Oh, here we go. I see one friend over here. Oh, and one friend over there. This is perfect, actually. Okay, so first things first, I'll talk to you. Schema stones can help you to build things you have never before imagined. I hope that you find this one useful. Which one? Which one? Uh, Have I been here before? He says that like he gave me something. So maybe I've been here before and I just don't remember it. I don't know. Uh, I'm a little confused. 
but maybe I can just find a way up there. I was hoping that maybe there'd be an elevator or a staircase or something. Uh, this is a lot. Uh, I do need these, especially these. I don't have very many. <laughs> so I need to earn up some more large charges to do something like that. In the meantime, how am I getting up there? Because that's where I need to be, right? If I were to remove this, it'd be more specifically here. Yeah, so I think it's up that way. We need to find a way up then for sure. But, uh, oh, what about over here? Looks like there might be a little room. Cause like, you know, these these gliders are good, but they're not very useful for turning around midair. So I'd rather not do any kind of midair acrobatics with them. It looks like there's a staircase up this way. So it might not be the most exciting thing, but I could just try to carry it up. This might be our best bet. So slowly but surely we will spiral up this staircase until we get it where it's supposed to be. This is I one of four. So looks like we have our work cut out for us here for a bit. All right, I've made it up here. Now where do I go? I guess just up this way. Watch out, tight squeeze. <laughs> okay, we made it. Man, I definitely wanna get some of these light routes so it can maybe be a little bit easier to get around here. I guess over this way? Seems like it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see too much over here, but it can't just end here, right? This has to lead to something. Is this gonna lead to another staircase? It will. <laughs> all right, I'll definitely, for the other eyes, try to build something where I can just get all the way up here, just fly up. I just didn't know if that's where I even needed to be, so. Didn't want to get too crazy with it if I was just gonna have to jump all the way back down with it. Now that I know, oh, maybe it's that glowing thing. There's a treasure chest up here. Uh, okay. Here we go. Large Zonite, I'll take it. I need more of that eventually. I'm a little confused. What do I do with this thing? Why is that sort of smoking? Do I? Put it in there. Maybe I should go over there first. So I'll fly over and just try to climb up for a bit. I think I should just be able to jump up all the way. What's the deal with this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? This might just be the mine down below. Oh, I see. Okay. This is answering some questions and leaving me with others. It's telling me that I threw one eye into the chasm. So before we go too much crazier with this and try to figure out, maybe there's nothing more to do with it. It's right there for now. I hope it doesn't despawn or anything, but I'm gonna go get that one light route. We'll go back up to the Great Plateau and I will just keep working on finding more stuff. Three more eyes to discover after all, so. We'll get somewhere with it for sure. There's a lot of stuff down here for sure. So being able to get more teleports around here would be good. I definitely wanna have a full episode dedicated to just getting as much of the light routes unlocked as possible. And we've sort of been down here, as you can see. Oh, we already have this one. Wait, what? Oh, never mind that. <laughs> All right, we don't need to worry about that. Let's go back up to the Great Plateau. However I can, this is my only shrine for the time being. We still have three more to find. Like the marker is still here, which is so weird to me. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but we'll try this one now. All right, so we're at the uh, Great Plateau North Chasm. We were here once, but we didn't you know, see an eye because its quest wasn't really started. So there's gotta be an eye somewhere, and it's in the water, right over here. So let's plop this one down. And I think just like with the last one, I will try to, there we go, <laughs> figure something out with it. I mean, the fact that it updates the quest like that, you've thrown two eyes into the chasms. Um, makes me think that like we're supposed to do something once they're all down there that I'm not doing. So I might get this one and try to travel around a little bit more with it. Okay, I almost just splatted. That would not have been good. Let me just go ahead and toss one of these on the floor, just like that so I can see what we're doing. And of course, more room to build stuff. So I think I'm supposed to go, nope, the other way, this way? Yep, this way. So. I will put together a building or a vehicle. I guess, I mean, if there's nothing more on the top of it, maybe I just build a car this time. Let's see. 
just like that, and I can't tell from here. <laughs> Let me put the car together, and then we'll see what we're doing. All right, we got quite the vehicle constructed with this one. Hopefully we'll be able to get to where we're going. I think it's that temple. Whoa, we don't have this light route, so this is actually pretty convenient. We will just get this, the Naku Koik light route. Very nice. Since we haven't gotten one of these in a while, it's really nice to have one unlocked because, like I said before, I definitely want to spend some more time in the depths and just really get every single one of these light routes before the adventure is done so that we can just sort of go anywhere we need to for this. It would make it a lot more convenient. But there's that one done. And with it all finished up, we should be able to see a lot more on the map now, too. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Ooh. And this should, uh, I don't think it heals us, but it would get rid of any kind of darkness that's affecting us. And a decent chunk of the map cleared out there. That's what we like to see for sure. I think that little shape on the top left there might be under the, the Colosseum area. I wonder. Definitely need to check that out soon too. That's another thing on the to-do list. But now with that done, I need to just keep driving. Hopefully I can fit the car through here. Excuse me. Just like that, excellent. And that's the temple we're trying to get to. A little bit of a drive, but gotta watch out for all the bad guys. <laughs> I could send you know, Bo over there just to mess with them. Didn't really hit them too much. Oh no, what just happened? Why did we explode? I think I probably hit like a bomb flower. <laughs> That was scary. But at least this is two out of the four eyes. I don't know if that one eye is still up there. I sure hope it is. I can't see it from here, of course, but let me grab this Poe. This Poe would actually be really nice to have. Okay, getting down here. Got it, Grand Poe. Gives me 20. So good to have this. I need to definitely spend some more Poe soon. But I think this is all gonna relate to that. So. I guess we'll see, because it's like the same statue, that statue in the water was the same that we see at Lookout Landing. Have we fought uh, Master Koga here? Because if not yet, I'm sure we will eventually. Some of you let me know that there might be still a couple more Master Koga fights. I don't know if the car could fit through there. Uh, I'm not gonna bother bringing this one all the way up though if I don't know for certain. But like, we checked above. Is there anything below? Here, let's go over here. There's not too much more below this, right? Looks like we're just reaching the ground here. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 hold on. What is this? It's huge! Uh. Hi, the slots for the eyeballs. No way, this is where I'm supposed to bring them? Hello. I can pray here. I direct you to the four chasms across the plateau above. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms and then deliver them to me. Oh, gotcha. So let's go and grab our one eye that's up here, bring that down here and put it in one of the sockets. And then the other one is already down here too, so we'll get that figured out. That's crazy, that's what we were supposed to do. It's sort of tucked away, so I feel like it's one of those things where I don't feel that silly from missing that, because I figured it would be on the thing that looks like a big temple, you know, not under it. All right, so our vehicle with my eye was right over here, so I'm just gonna try to grab that really quickly and get it back over here. Sorry, not trying to bother you. We just need to get down there and get this figured out. That was so cool, though. Crazy statue for sure. Whoa, don't go too far now. Oh. Back up there, Link. And I just need to bring that all the way over. So, right down this way. This thing is huge, like how far down does it go? And I guess we could jump down there and find out. We can see more pieces down that way. Like an elevator or something. Interesting, for sure. Um. For now though, I th think we'll just try to be a little bit efficient, work on getting this eye in the socket and then get the other one. So right about here, don't blink. Got it, okay. Whoa. You have returned one of my eyes to me thus far. After you have found my eyes on the plateau above, each of them near a chasm, 
bring every last one here to me. I will, for sure. A call from the depths has been updated. A voice told you to throw four eyes into the four chasms and then carry them to the place beneath the Temple of Time Ruins where the voice is coming from. You have now thrown two of the eyes into the chasms and brought one of them to the source of the voice. So let me definitely go up here. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Mr. Giant Statue thing. Because I want to just go up this way, get back to the top of this little building so that we can bring the next eye down. Hopefully that won't be too much work. I think if I stand, yeah, that's, the ceiling's a little bit too high there. I might have to walk up the big staircase again. Not looking forward to that. So if I could, wait a minute, go right here, that'd be way easier. All right, exit, get up here, do the same thing. Almost there. Ah, it's not here anymore. Um, is it over there? Well, where did I put the thing? Ooh, I don't think it's here. I think it might have despawned and went back to where I threw it down there. I think that's the case. Okay, good to know, I guess. So it looks like, yes, the eye did respawn all the way over here. Just my luck, but that's okay. We will attach this to this minecart I put over here. And I think this actually leads right over there very conveniently. So we'll see if that's actually the case. I'll put the eye just on the front of this thing. So I guess this would have been the more efficient way to do it after all. Sometimes it's not better to take it to the skies. I think this should lead to the base other side of it, basically. We'll find out. Yeah, right over there. That's exactly where I need to be. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ah! Uh -oh. oh, what a landing! That was so much fun! All right, so we just land right here. Yeah, it actually brings me straight where I needed to be the whole time. I don't know, I thought the flying would be more efficient. It turned out not to be. But if we figure it out in the end, then that's all that matters, right? So, I mean, that's sort of the fun of puzzle solving, right? Sometimes you're wrong in the first try. Let's get over here and I will plug this eye into, Ooh, you get back here. Plug this eye in and that means we're officially halfway through, so that'll be great. And I'll put this one on the top right. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. That's how we'll probably do it. Okay, ready? Boom. All right, two out of your four eyes. You have returned two of my eyes to me thus far. After you have found my eyes in the plateau above, each of them near a chasm, bring every last one here to me. All right, so as you can see now, it'll be two of the eyes into the chasms and brought two of them to the source of the voice. Awesome. All right, so we've made our way back to the Great Plateau and there's plenty more adventuring to be done. We still have two more of these chasms to find. And the big trouble right now, I suppose, is that I don't really have any shrines to teleport to. These chasms are where the shrines used to be. So it might be worth it to try to find a way to get up to them from like down there. I don't know if that'd be actually doable that. So maybe I'll just travel up here on the ground because that's fine too. I like exploring this area a lot. I think we'll like this. I can probably remove this marker soon, but I'm just gonna go towards this one. This one's way up on the one mountain. Way over there, so it might take us some time to find it, but I'll get the boar again. Please don't attack me. I don't want it, I don't wanna mess with you. But I do want this treasure chest. What, what does this have for us? And maybe there'll be something in that big tree stump over there. Royal broadsword with attacker plus six sounds amazing. Anything we can drop for it though? I guess we're old brawl sword without the, the plus six. There you go. I definitely need to combine this with some stuff, which I guess I can do now. We're, we're probably bound to run into some enemies sooner or later. So if I go over here and do buy fuse attack power, whatever I have like a good abundance of. So I have like one blue main Lionel saber horn, a uh, couple of the silver moblins would probably be good. Here we go, drop and start combining some weapons, especially, you know, these ones that last a bit longer, I think would be a good idea. Not this, but this. So for Moblin Horn, uh, I'll try the Boss Bokoblin Horn maybe. There you go. This Royal Broadsword, I'll probably just do the Silver Moblin for that one. And then the Spear, that might be fun to have the Bloom, yeah, there we go. Cause that stuff all has really good durability. You can see up, up, like the, the diamond two arrows, that means that's good durability. So that's nice to have. And then for this one, I might not get something as crazy for this one, 
But even if I could, I have so many silver Bokoblin horns. I can do one of these. It's because we run into a lot of silver Bokoblins more than anything else. Oh yeah, I do remember this area with the big trees and everything. We definitely found a good amount of cork seeds here and I can hear one. Here we go. But where do I go now? Uh, uh, wait. Oh, okay, I thought I had to go somewhere with it. Got it? And then I think there's another one right here. Got it! <laughs> All right, another Korok seed for us. Always great to see. I found you. Two Korok seeds. Or just one Korok seed. <laughs> um, but uh, there we go. Let's get over this direction. Do I have a picture of this bird? I think I do. Yeah, it's, it gave me the blue square for just a moment. All right. We gotta get all the way up that hill though. That's the thing I'm a little bit worried about as I'm going at this at the wrong angle. But I think we'll be okay. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that gonna be, I can already tell. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be. All right, Um, how do we wanna do this? I could do this and then let's get into some trouble. Let's make some trouble happen actually. Let's see. By most used bomb flower. You guys ready for some trouble? Oh my goodness, wow! They all went flying from that one. Gonna fly over here, and then up we go. Let's do it again. Oh man, oh man, there we go. Uh, now that I'm up here, do something like this and go crazy on you. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, got it, Whoa! Ow. Battle Talus defeated, but we're not quite done. There's this guy over here, and then, uh, ooh, that was close. There we go, gotcha. And we get a lot of good stuff from that, a lot of amber rubies, and that should give us a treasure chest. Awesome. All right, we got lots to do left, so let's just keep it moving. I don't wanna dilly-dally too much, but we do have this big thing, which I already have one on my, uh, my sword right now, but maybe I could just attach it to another thing. Oh, what about the master sword? Do I have anything? I do have the silver on the, maybe I can attach it to my shield. Could use a shield upgrade. Got it. There you go, plus 13 defense for the shield. <laughs> Open up this treasure chest and inside, what do we got? Another ruby. Okay, we're stacking up on him. Is that an amber that yeah, got flung way over there? Let me make sure I get that then. And then, we'll, whoa, hey, hold on, extra arrows. Oh, and here's another piece of amber. How many do we have in total? 292 amber. I need to start doing some stuff with that. Maybe start selling some of it. Not quite sure, but certainly something. Oh, see the shrine. It's somewhere nearby. I would really like to be able to find a shrine somewhere on the Great Plateau. I mean, it might just be in a cave under than it is, you know, straight ahead or something, but it will tell me if it's above or below us a lot of the time. I don't see like a cave entrance around here or anything, but I do see sort of a cavern over this way. But just anything that would help us get around the Great Plateau easier at this point, I would gladly take. This isn't the cave entrance, but I can go down this way a little bit. Will this have anything for us? Hey, here we go. All right, so can I just go into this one? Does it need anything? Ryugok Shrine in Hyrule Field. Let's go for it. All right, let's see what's going on with this shrine. Force transfer, Ryugok Shrine. Whoa. Oh, I think I see. I need to combine this with this maybe? Continue sort of this gear. Would that work? And then maybe if I hit this thing, it'll get everything to spin. Whoa, cool contraption. I like that one. What's going on down there? Um, Not much. Oh, this is gonna spin around. I can get on top of it. Okay, maybe not from here, but from up there, definitely. So let's do that. It's been a while since we've done a shrine, it feels like. I don't know what I do with this thing. Oh, that's the end of it? Wait, what? Hold on, let me get up there really quickly and see what's going on. I'll send up here, just like that. I send up one more time. I guess I can't quite reach it, but if we were to get that attached to this, it might push up these platforms or something. Okay. 
And what's with the switch over there? Oh, that dude. Huh. Here, I will wait for this. And then, yeah, I don't think that's the best angle for it. It might just get smacked off. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'll let it swing back around. Ooh, just barely missed, you're kidding me. Okay, well, we'll mess with that in just a moment. What's the deal with this thing? I can't really turn it. Okay, I guess I might need that then. Uh, got it. I don't know what that did. I heard something. Oh, the door opened again. Didn't it close before? Let's switch this over and I get another one. I'm a little confused. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Could I just maybe... Here, let me detach this from here. I don't think this would work super well, but maybe I could just set this up like this against here and then run up it. You know what would be probably easier than that is if I made it too wide and then lifted it all the way up there as much as I could, bring it all the way back down, get on top of it, and reverse it. That should work a little bit better, right? Ooh, don't mind me. Opening up this chest maybe, there we go. So what's inside of this one? Mighty Construct Bow, don't mind if I do. Attack up plus eight is definitely gonna be worth going over something. I wanna keep the Grudo Bow, don't I? I mean, I guess it's not like a special weapon, so I could drop one. Uh, Sure, I'll do that. I think I have this bow pictured, but let me drop it really quickly to make sure. Yep, I do. Okay, so cancel that stuff. Wouldn't I just be able to, how does this move? Does this move up this? It does. I feel like I could just go up here, go like this, push it up, maybe a little bit more. And would that be enough for me just to get up there and get out? You'd think so, maybe not. The angling was a little awkward. Uh, not quite, yeah. Okay, there's definitely gotta be a way though. If I just, I sort of think what I could do, bring this up and just hold it there. I know there's probably an easier way to do this, right? But if this works, why not? So, I do that, I reverse this, and then I go and grab this one. And now I have the space to bring it all the way up and hold this one for one, two, three, four, five, and then cancel that, go up here, and then just do the same thing again. I guess you could get infinitely higher with that kind of concept, huh? So yeah, now I just reverse this one, and we made it. Very interesting little shrine there. I definitely didn't do it the way it was intended, but hey, we still got it done. All right, we're back out of there. That was a pretty fun trying to do. And now we just have somewhere else to sort of come in from. So that's great. I don't have to teleport to that one shrine and then have to ascend up. But speaking of ascending upwards, we need to climb this mountain so that we can get to the other side of it. Whoa, hey, are you gonna be a normal? Yeah, you're the Thunder Wizard robe. So I will leave you be, because I don't feel like messing with you. But I have a picture of you over here. Yep, the shock like. All right, well. Let's just try to get out of here. Everyone's giving us problems. I could fight you, maybe. Hold on. Stick out that tongue, and then we'll try to get up there. Let's use, uh, yeah, sure, this one. Ready? Damage you up a little bit. Come on, a couple more hits. Nice. And you should spit out a treasure chest for us. Always worth our while. And the shock like stone is pretty nice. You are still bothering me? Can you leave me alone, sir? I don't need that right now. Another royal shield. Uh, I want to take it, but I just I don't really need it unless I want to get rid of the daybreaker. But obviously, I don't want to get rid of the daybreaker. I, I, I spent diamonds on that thing. Uh, we wish we, we should ascend up here, just like oh, like this. See ya. 
All right, I know I could defeat him and take his weapon, but I'm pretty sure we're filled up on weapons right now anyways. So, might as well save it for some other time. So, we are getting a whole lot closer, but as you can see, I still need to go a little bit farther. This is definitely gonna be a longer episode today, but I think it's well worth it. I mean, this is a pretty big side adventure, and it has to be one of the last side adventures. Besides just like going and defeating Master Koga, I don't know where else we could find another side adventure, you know? What's over there? Just a bunch of mushrooms. Let's climb up this thing really fast and see if there's anything cool up here. Uh, there isn't, but this is where things get chilly. I remember this being such a struggle to explore around here in Breath of the Wild. This is where we were able to like ride a boat and stuff. It was really cool. Oh yeah, it's very cool. So, so let's go ahead and uh, change to the appropriate gear for that, just like that, and keep it moving. So, we run through here. It looks like we're getting a lot closer. I don't see any Korok seeds around here, any obvious ones pointing out at me, so I'll get up this way. And I think I can just keep climbing, climbing from here. But we didn't have any fancy gear to keep us warm at that point in the game, so I had to just make food that kept us warm. Okay, we're up here. I didn't mean to do that, but, oh, there's a Korok seed here. Yeah, we don't have the ability just to make ice anymore. But it's gotta be something over here, because it points me that way, and then that one points me this way. A little confused. Oh, it's definitely something dead center. Um, yeah, I probably don't want to spend very long in this freezing cold water. Uh oh. Um, it doesn't say that there's anything in there, but there's gotta be. Oh no, and we have a blood moon about to pop up. We've reached the depths area, which is cool. Um, the Great Plateau West Cavern, or ca chasm, <laughs> not ca cavern. Um, what if I just melt this really quickly? I don't know what I'll find, but I can just melt a couple of these. <coughs> Speed it up a little bit. Uh, it's the eye! Okay, perfect. Um, I will go ahead and plot that in, just like that. Call from the depths, now it'll just say that we have three of the eyes thrown into the chasms, and I'll hop down there with it soon. I'm just trying to figure out what we do for this Korok seed. I'd love to get it done now, so I don't have to worry about it later but maybe put this snowball here? That didn't do anything. This blood moon is about to pop up. Come on. What if I just, can I stand on top of this? Is this a bad idea? No, no, come on, I would've died the cold water. I don't want that. Go, go, go. Phew. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this one. We'll have to come back to it then. Um, I will at least make it like a Korok seed symbol. All right. There you go. Oh boy, here we go. Well, I don't think there's too many monsters I need to defeat or re-defeat anyways. So, we'll be fine. I'll skip this if I can. There you go. And we'll get back to what we were doing. So I just need to jump right back into that cavern. Yeah, all these guys are still around. I need to be very careful though because I don't have much health at the moment. But if I could melt this stuff, and do I have any food on me right now? I really need to make more food. That is something I've been meaning to do. I guess I could make uh, or eat this cold resistance. Oh yeah, I should. There you go. Gives me a little bit more health. Then we can melt these down. I'll do a little swing. I know it's damage. I just get impatient. Uh, well, I don't need any of this, so that was a waste of time. Let's get down here. Whoa. Into the chasm we go. We have this third eye to get to the statue. Whoa, so exciting. And then, ooh, a little bit farther down, just like that. Grab all of these. And I think there was an elevator. Yeah, right over there. So if I pick up this eye, I can put it right about here. Yeah. Th oh, oh. I could have been bad. Put it here, give this a hit. I'll just use my master shot. I need to use my master sword a lot more. It's always like, on the far left of my inventory, and I feel like I'm always using stuff on the far right of my inventory, so I just forget it's there. 
But I have this now. And I think, yeah, we definitely need to make a minecart adventure somewhere. But the question is where? I need to go to the left, so I'm guessing this one would lead me where I'm supposed to go, and this one would just go who knows where in the other direction. So, hey, come here. And yeah, I'll just put that there on this minecart that's luckily pre-made for us, basically. Right there. I don't know if I should, I should probably move that over a little bit so it's not setting off the weight of this thing. Because I would not like to fly off of this. So I'll just bring it into the actual minecart thing with me. Boom, and we're moving. Let's hope this brings me the right way I think it will. These are always so much fun though. This is like one of my favorite parts of the depths. It's like a big roller coaster. Oh man. I don't see anything crazy that we need to get to. I think we've actually been on this minecart before. This like trail, this track. I keep it moving. This is the Hylia Can Canyon Mine. Yeah, it seems familiar. Get up there a little bit more. Come on, keep going. I think I can. I think I can. A little bit more. Almost over the hump. And we sort of made it. There's more to get to, but for that, I need to turn this off, grab this whole thing, and I guess attach it over here. Seems about right. We can also pick up some more Poe. That would be pretty good. So, right about there. Grab some of this stuff, because we are getting closer to 900 Poe. That's pretty good. Okay, back over here, go, go, go. Same thing as before, give it a smack. All right, over. All right, bring it over. And we're almost there. So it looks like yeah, we're probably just gonna end up right where we were with the other one. Oh, the battery's about to run out, so it's gonna rely on my batteries, which is fine, we have plenty. Okay, we've just about made it. Now we get to go downhill. So we could probably just turn this off. And we'll still cruise over. And we've gotten to the Great Abandoned Central Mine. Excellent, oh, yikes. Oh, wow, yeah, we're at the bottom of it now. Whoa, you can see the big arms and everything. Is this thing gonna move? Or don't know if there's a treasure chest down here too. This is awesome. Okay, grabbing all this then. Just like that. Then I wanna run over to this treasure chest because I'm very curious to see what's inside. This has, will be another shield. I hope it's not. Large Zonite, at this point I'll take that for sure. So, running back over here. I'll just bring this to that elevator right there. And we should just be able to plug this one in. This'll be eye number three. Get that there. And up we go. Takes a moment for it to really kick in. Come on, come on. And, whoa, not too fast, not too far. Ah! That could have been bad. Just need to get over to here. Or actually, oh, we're not high enough. Never mind, I thought this was it. It is not. We gotta keep going. Might as well grab the Poe, though, so. Leave that there, run back over this way. Yeah, we need to be one level higher. Sorry, I'm being silly. Got it. So we're over 900 now, trying to get to the big 1,000. I don't know if there'll be like a maximum capacity for Poe. Probably like 9,999 if I had to guess. Then I'll just pick this up. We're almost there. There we go. Happy that we're, you know, Almost through with the whole thing, but still one more big step left with the other eye. And then who knows what happens after that? Is this the end of the quest or just the beginning of it, you know? Is this guy gonna start moving? We have to fight him? <laughs> there we go, three out of four. You have returned three of my eyes to me thus far. After you have found my eyes on the plateau above, each of them near a chasm, bring every last one of them here to me. So yeah, we have now thrown three of the eyes into the chasms and brought three of them to the source of the voice. One more time, we need to go all the way back up there and figure it out again. So I have this shrine. I'll use that shrine to get over here once more and we'll just see what we can do from there. All right, so we're back on the run over to this other side. I figure I'm gonna try to stay away from the cold biome for a bit just because 
I don't feel like freezing right now. It's only my, whoa, run into some other enemies. Can't ignore them. They're not too big of a deal. But hey, maybe we'll find the source of another Korok seed or something like that. But for right now, it looks like it's just running over here. And this area is pretty mountainous, so I don't think it's worth building a vehicle because I feel like as soon as we would get going with it, we'd have to turn away from it. But if there's another shrine nearby, that is worth investigating. I want to get as many shrines here on the Great Plateau as possible while we're still here. I don't see anything. Whoa, whoa. this way? Okay, it's still over here, right? Is that like in a cave somewhere? Can get some free stuff over this way. Hold on, there's a treasure chest in the snow. Pull that out. Then also maybe break this box. Or a couple of extra arrows. What do we got inside of this one? Please not another royal shield. A stone ax. Okay, 15 damage for this. I don't think we need it right now. Inventory's too full, unfortunately. But good to keep in mind. Okay, still looking for that shrine. I guess it might be over there. I can't go into the water here, but oh, I do see you. There's definitely a cave over there then. Okay. If there's a cave over there, it may be worth trying to find our way over. Now, just because, oh no, this still really, really hurts. I might have to leave it for later. I don't see a convenient way to get over, so I'd have to like climb up here, go over that way. I guess that's our best bet, from what I can see. Oh no, I already know what you are. Stop, I can't fight you though, that's so silly. Hey, you're just a traveler. Step right up, come and chill. Hopping out is fresh off the grill. Hold them in your hands, feel the heat, take a big bite. What a treat. And the flavor like a dream. Grilled banana heaven, if you know what I mean. Stop, stop right there and buy a pair. I'll pass. What sort of icy heart does that, does it take to turn down a hot, freshly grilled banana? Are you going to be a looky-loo or will you buy a banana or two? Just one bite and it all begins. I'll pass. There's only one place for those who deny the joys of a grilled banana. Aww. Beg the banana's forgiveness. We'll see about that one. All right, hold on. Uh, I will switch over to my master sword, and then one, two, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's how easy it can be. Let's get over here, grab all of your stuff, and then try to find our way up this mountain. It's gonna be a lot more difficult now because it's raining, which is just great, but, oh no, it stopped raining. Just rained for a second. Weird. Okay, get up here. Oh, there's another one of you. I really don't want to deal with that. This shrine has got to be somewhere nearby. So this thing is going off really crazy. Right in this direction. It's not telling me to go up or down. So I can only imagine that I'm still going the right way for it. If I had to guess it's going to be up there, but maybe not. But I am curious about you. So. Maybe we should do that. Get over here and try to find this cave. Flying over. Whoa, there's a cold light like here. And then I will go for you. I don't know if that's actually hitting three times, but if it is, it's really nice. It's not giving me any more rupees. I guess I hit the maximum with those three shots and we're at the cave. Awesome. What's going on in here then? Behind the waterfall. Maybe I'll find it. This doesn't seem to be counting as a cave yet. Discovery! Whoa. River of the Dead Waterfall Cave. What an intense name. And I hear him. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Is there gonna be a shrine in here though? I wonder. First, we'll get the bubble gem. And that's why it's worth it to look for those guys wherever we can. Oh no, another lifelike. Oh, and there is a shrine in here. All right, you wanna go? Come on, come on. Spit it up, I know you got a rock. Oh, you don't. All right, well that was pretty easy. We should be able to get something nice out of that, right, a treasure chest? Always good to see it. Anything good inside of this one? A wooden shield. <laughs> Not very exciting, I don't need it, I'm sorry. Unless it's a new design. Actually, maybe I should try. I don't know if I recognize that design too much. Uh, We'll see. Because I think each design might be its own entry. I might be totally wrong with that, but we're gonna find out right now. Nope, okay, we're fine. 
So I will grab this and we'll go into our third shrine of today, the Tadarok Shrine, or second? I can't remember now. Maybe second shrine of today. Let's go into it. Fire and water, the Tadarok Shrine. Whoa, I feel like this look, this layout is like similar to one of the shrines that we'd find in Breath of the Wild. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so I think the electricity is like charging the water over here, so if we get these out, maybe I can just go across, and I can use this cube. There you go, much safer. That's the first one done. I might now need to use that same cube to get across the lava there, or maybe even the block off the fire from this side. Oh, so if I do this, I have a little ice cube, or big ice cube. Can I climb up this, is that the idea? Oh, I can, awesome. And I can get our treasure chest nice and easy. Because that's what we wanna see. Mighty Zonite Shield, 50. Still not good enough. I will drop this just so, once again, I can make sure that the chest gets like its check mark, but I would keep that one for now. Hmm. What's going on with this whole situation? I guess for now, I wanna get this out. That seems like a whole combination of things to do up there. I will grab this over here and see if it can sink into the lava. It can. Whoa. Can I make that jump though? Uh, I can. Just barely I can. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Douse that in the water real quick. There you go. I guess I need a combination of all of these boxes. I see. With all these boxes combined, I think that will sort of make me a staircase out of here. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Let's move this back just a little bit more. Got it, got it, got it. I think that's the idea. Okay, so let me try with all of this. And I have that pictured, right? Yep, not the treasure chest. Let me make extra sure I have that. Yep, okay. Sorry, you can never be too careful, right? Oh yeah, that's right, I do need an additional chest just to, or additional box just to block this, this fire. But what do I do from there? Go up there. Okay, um, seems a little tricky. I guess let me get that other box. Just like this, over. Hmm. What if I did this, and then, hmm. I don't know if this would work, actually. I'll get this over here. I will, since I know I can climb this one, if I attach it like this, it will start to fall over, which is a little scary, but I can't climb this one, right? Not quite, it's a little too big. So if I could just push this over a little bit more, get this block here, uh, there we go. Maybe? We're getting a little bit higher up at the least. Then maybe I could, I'm sort of maybe doing this in an awkward way, but this needs to stay there. Because if not, it'll melt that ice block. But I can attach these two now. You can sort of see how I'm getting up here then. And now with these two attached, I can get back over here, climb up this thing, one step at a time now. Uh. And then maybe I could, ooh, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. Oh no, wait, wait, can I get up? Oh, darn it. No, come on, that's not fair, get me out of here. No, come on. I don't think I'm doing this the right way. Okay, so this might not be the most efficient way to do it. I didn't wanna go get that one wooden box again, and I, I don't know if I'm overthinking this one, by a critical degree, but I'm going to try to get over here, just like that, and then grab this box from where it is, just like that. I can't really grab that one anymore, it is what it is, but what I could do from here, I think, would be grabbing this, bringing it all the way up like that, bringing it all the way back down, getting on top of it, and just reversing it. There we go, that should get, get it done. Let's find out, yep, there we go. Try and done, let's go ahead and grab this orb. I definitely need to cash in the orb soon, but there we go, we're done. 
All right, so there's another shrine completed. Glad to get that one, because I think we could probably just ascend through this mountain now without too much of an issue, and get over to the chasm that we're looking for. Here's hoping. Um, it's a long way up. Whoa. Okay, a little chilly around here for sure, but yeah, it's right over here. So, uh, nope, wrong way, okay, <laughs> never mind. Right over there, gotta get across some more water and stuff or something, but we'll get there eventually. Wait, was there another cave? Okay, for a second I thought it said I didn't have the check mark for it. So we should just be able to get over this way. There is another shrine way over there. Do we not have that one? I don't think we do, so maybe I'll mark that on my map. Way over there, cool. That is for another time. That's obviously not a part of the plateau, so I'm not gonna worry about it for now. I definitely need to focus on getting some more shrines done eventually, but today is not that day. We've gotten two done. I know there's not a ton, but for my record recently, that's not so bad. All right, uh, right over here, and we're heading in as soon as I can find the eye, which I'm guessing is probably going to be maybe under this thing. Ah, there we go, so the last eye is finally being dropped into the cavern, chasm, you know what I mean, Great Plateau South Chasm. Let me catch up to it a little bit here, if I can. And there we go, call from the depths. It's just gonna say, of course, you've now thrown four of the eyes into the chasms and brought three of them to the source of the voice. Excellent, so right over here, I will grab some more of the Poe, because it's just sitting here, waiting for me to pick it up. And I think we've gotten that light route over there to our left. Yes, so all I should have to worry about is bringing this somewhere. So I'm guessing up this way, there'll probably be another minecart situation. I really hope so, because they're the most fun. Ooh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like I'll have to, to glide over there with it. So let's build something super fast and see if we can't get there sooner rather than later. All right, we should just be able to slot this up over here, I hope. Uh-oh, hey, you guys don't want to deal with you. These guys don't count as like different things, I don't think. They're just still normal keys. <laughs> What is going on with this one? All right, you got it, you got it. Um, it's not really moving. Hmm, I think it's because it's not like properly lined up. I need to, whoa. Oh, I guess my thing broke on my master sword there or something. I don't know what happened. Maybe up here, would that be better? I sure hope so, because that's what I want to try. Just like that, get onto this, and fly over there. And we definitely, yeah, we have that one. Now we're moving, and you can see what we're trying to get to. Obviously, we're coming at it from the one side. We need to be on the other side, but can I? Oh, uh, no, it goes right over them. I always just like bowling with the Nobo, see what trouble we can get into, but. Uh, actually, no, wait, don't I just go down there? Yeah, I do, okay. Let's just try to fly in. Oh, wait, gotta dive down fast. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Come on, fly over there as much as I can. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, that's fine enough. Somehow we've lodged ourselves in between the two walls. Grab the eye again, thank you. And bring it all the way down here. We're almost done. This is the last one, I cannot believe it. All this hard work to get this eye into this last socket. And then you'll have a 20-20-20-20 vision, right? Something like that. Can you see me? <laughs> Whoa. What's happening? Whoa. Spooky. You have returned to me my eyes, the vessels of my spirit. We can now speak properly. In ancient times, my eyes were stolen and sealed away. For eons, I have awaited one who would hear my voice and return them to me, and here you are. As promised, I will repay your kindness by bestowing good fortune upon you. What do you desire? A heart container or a stamina vessel? I feel like I've been getting my butt kicked a lot recently, so I'm gonna say a heart container. The strength that you have chosen will be yours. No way. 
That's a pretty nice reward right there. Ah, feeling pretty good with that, aren't you, Link? All right, that's a, that's a really cool reward. Heart container. So we're up to quite a lot of them now. Your wish is granted. A call from the depths complete. You have thrown all the eyes into the chasms and carried them to the source of the voice. Now you can speak with the mysterious statue. And uh, you have anything more to say? How are you doing today? Uh, you who, have, who revived my spirit's four vessels, make an offering. Offer pose to me spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander this land. I am the one who returns all posts to the afterlife without prejudice. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. I take it you have encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. Whoa. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the tunic of the depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. Whoa, okay, so we already got one piece of this, but I guess we get more? I already have one dark tunic, but now we have the tunic of the depths, which requires 150 po. This is so cool. So tunic of the depths, a tunic acquired by offering pose to a strange statue found in the depths, woven of mysterious materials. It offers some resistance to gloom. Sure, that's awesome. So I'll go ahead and get that for sure. Is there? Anything else we want here? Like I said, I already have this dark tunic. I don't think I need more than one. Um, but we have the magic rod, magic scepter, and magic staff. I think I've had the magic rod. I don't know which one of these I've had, but they're not that expensive. So I cannot care anymore. So I'll have to drop some stuff. Dusk Claymore. Whoa. Seek my brethren in this land. If you do so, you may receive further blessings. I definitely will. So let's go ahead and drop a couple weapons just for the sole sake of maybe getting some new stuff here. So I'll talk to you again. Um, And I'll buy this, the Dust Claymore. I've returned the Lost Spirits to the afterlife. And that says, a slender Claymore thought to have been handed down to the kingdom of Hyrule ages ago. The blade shines with a holy luster. And maybe we've gotten this one before, I can't quite remember. A magic staff, a long rod with a bit of magic. It's said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who awoke the latent power of gems. So I'll go ahead and buy one of those. And then lastly, I'll buy this magic scepter, a long mysterious magical rod. It's said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who took, who woke the, the latent power of gems. So there we go. Seek my brethren in this land. If you do so, receive further blessings. Let me just make sure that these are all pictured. This is a very cool item though, the dust claymore. I might end up keeping that one. I don't know, I just have a lot of upgraded gear right now, so I don't wanna get rid of anything, but uh, let's see for ourselves. Dust claymore's been pictured, magic staff, magic scepter. Okay, well, I wanted to make sure. I'm glad that they were all pictured, um, and you know what? I don't feel bad about you know releasing the pose if they have better places to be. So maybe this ruby sword, maybe I should drop this one and pick up one of these scepters and combine that with a ruby. That'd probably be for the better, right? Cause yeah, we do have the sapphire scepter here, but the staff I'm guessing would last even longer. Bring it all the way over here like this and we'll see. Oh yeah, and it has like more of a jabbing effect to it. So yeah, we should probably just go over to my items and sort this by type and attach a ruby to it. Hold, drop, and Oops. Is there any weapon I might want instead of that Dusk Claymore thing? I don't think so. I think, honestly, we have a pretty good setup. Does this have, this still has something. <laughs> this is a little silly, but what I could do is destroy this fuse material and use it with this Dusk Claymore to make like a really crazy sword. It's something. There we go. So I don't know if there's too much more I wanna get here from you. I'll go ahead and check out that new piece of gear here. The Dark Clump, I've gotten these before. It's gloom resistance. Everything else here we can find on the ground of this area. But we have a Dark Tunic, we got the Tunic at the Depths. I don't know if there's a way to continue completing those outfits. I would imagine the best way to do that would be, because you can see Bargainer statue, statue here. We have a few of those. 
throughout the depths, like more bargainer statues. I don't know if they'll have a similar bring the eyes to me quest. I sure hope not, but <laughs> if they do have more ways to ex you know, expend gloom, I definitely wanna take that opportunity. So I think that is definitely something we'll focus on soon. In the meantime though, let's take a look at our new gear right down here. This is the tunic of the depths. Crazy details on this one. I really like it. So hopefully this has a full outfit to it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.